A word of warning, MemberPress just came out with a courses feature where you can create and sell online courses with the MemberPress plugin. It just came out a few days ago, September 9, I believe, 2020, and I've been playing around with it. But be careful, it's just too new and untested, and I'm having some problems already. To install the new Courses plugin, you don't go to the plugin area, you go to MemberPress. Under Courses, you see the new, and you'll see this page if you haven't installed it yet. And you just click this, Install and Activate MemberPress Courses Add-on. And that will bring in the new MemberPress Course plugin. Before I installed MemberPress's courses, I had other courses under Thrive Apprentice, and I'll show you those. I've created three courses under Thrive Apprentice and they used to work but now they don't. Now when I try to visit my old courses, I click here, view course homepage, and I can't get to it because of the new MemberPress courses that interrupted or broke the old course and also MemberPress itself doesn't work in terms of the, the new courses. I think one of the problems is um, the slug. This is called a slug. It's like part of the URL where your courses will live and it's it would all be under this and you'd see all my courses under Thrive Apprentice. But when I installed MemberPress courses, it also defaulted by using the same courses slug. So now there's competition between two course providers, two separate plugins doing courses using one URL slug. So I think that's one of the problems. The MemberPress courses was working up until a few minutes ago. Then I decided to update the plugin. MemberPress had an update for the course plugin. So I updated it and then boom, my stuff st stopped working. The, both courses stopped working. So if I go here, this is the course I created for MemberPress, Zombies for Dummies. It doesn't seem to work anymore after I updated the plugin. So I believe MemberPress just has some growing pains and hopefully I can fix this. Let me try to fix this. Let's go to member press settings and there's a new tab here. After I installed the member press courses plugin, it added a new tab here and also added that. That's where you create your courses. Let's go to courses here. This is the course slug I was talking about. Let's rename this to MP courses for MemberPress courses. And I'll keep the old courses for my Thrive Apprentice um, classes. And let's just update this. Okay, let's just go into the courses. Here's the Zombies for Dummies, the quick course I just created to test this out. Let's see if it launches, because earlier these would all launch. But after that update of the plugin, it stopped launching. And I use Thrive Architect to edit these pages. Oh, it opened. So maybe that fixed it. Looks good. Um, let's go back. Um, let's go to curriculum. In MemberPress courses, you can create sections. And under the sections are the lessons. So I've only created one section. How to survive the zombie apocalypse. These are my lessons. Let's look at this one. Number one, clear the room and launch in Thrive Architect. I believe Thrive Architect is one of the best themes out there for editing websites. It really has a lot of features. I clicked the clear the room, but this one, this is the home title. There might still be an existing bug. Let's try to edit the second lesson. Number two, launch. Something's wrong. It's going back to the same course homepage and it's supposed to go into never turn your back to the enemy so there's still some bugs here let me see if my normal courses are working again looks like my normal courses I created before is working let's go into this okay phew by just changing the slug um, fix things back to normal for my old courses let's try to visit the member press course that I created let's check it in a non-logged in browser zombies for dummies okay 
Let's click it. I don't have a featured image, that's why nothing's showing up here. So let's click this. Okay, this first page looks correct. Let's start the class. Hmm, it's still going back to that first page. None of these pages are working. I wonder if it's actually broken and I have to recreate my courses. So that's kind of annoying. So yeah, my warning for you is MemberPress just created a courses feature. Just test it and be careful with the uh, slug and be prepared if something breaks because it's still brand new and I've just experienced um, getting some problems after an update. It's promising, but um, we'll have to wait till the product gets more mature. So my recommendation for you is to not use MemberPress courses yet. It's too new, it just came out a few days ago. They're still having some growing pains. I just demonstrated that it conflicted with my other course and even their own links don't work anymore. It just goes back to the same old page. Although these are supposed to be different lesson pages, it just goes back to the main page. And what I would recommend if you are looking to create your online courses, professional online courses, or you want to have a membership access to it, you want to charge for it, the best tools I think is after you get your hosting, you install WordPress and you use Thrive Themes membership, which has a suite of many tools and features. It has a page builder, really good page builder. It has a course creation feature. It's called Apprentice and it works a lot better than the member press course because it's more refined now, it's mature and it just works. And the third component is the membership access, which I think the best plugin is MemberPress. So you use MemberPress for the access, so you can charge, so you can hide your courses behind a paywall. And you use Thrive Themes to build your courses and build your sales funnels and all that good stuff. And you choose a good host. Those are the three main components for creating an online course with membership access. Please check the description section below to see which hosts I recommend because depending on what you're looking for, there's different hosts. I've already identified among the best ones. And also, if you click the links for MemberPress and Thrive Themes, you'll see pricing for these products. If you do buy any of these products through my affiliate links, I'll give you free access to my premium membership areas and I'll be uploading a lot more content to help people create their online courses within this private premium membership area. And you can get that for free if you do buy these products uh, with my affiliate links. And of course, it doesn't cost you any more. I just get a small referral fee. Okay, and I hope you have a lot of success with your future courses. Thank you. Oh.